Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the Happy Lemon or Lime. It's be your choice, what color you want to use, of course. So, um, it's not super difficult. It's a growing up design, all in one loom, of course. And bandwise, it's um, 229 for the main body, and then the leaf, um, 31 bands for all of the stem and the leaf. Um, and this one I did double it, so it is actually be 62 bands. Um, but I'm going to do it single in the tutorial, and then you can kind of make up your mind how you want to do it. Um, and of course, you can just skip having the leaf on it at all and just make the lemon lime shape as you wish. So, we'll get started, and we'll start with the eyes and the cheeks. Um, I use pony beads in mine, but you can use wrapped bands. I'll show you how to do that. So, if you want to use a wrapped band for the eye, you take the color you want your eye, put it on your hook, wrap it around once into a figure eight, then grab both bands, and wrap them around your hook again, and then take the color of whatever you're going to be making, either lemon or lime, and pull two bands through the bands on your hook. So this would be an eye. Then you would make two of those. Or if you're going to use the beads, I use 7mm pony beads. Um, you'll want to find something that you can thread through the center of them. Piece of wire, bread tie, um, string, yarn, thread, floss, fishing line, anything you can get into a V shape. You'll take two bands, put them down into the center, close it up, then thread it through the center of your bead and just pull it down like so, so then you would have a beaded eye band. You need two of those. And then for the cheeks, they're made the same way as the eyes are if you use the wrap bands. So it's just one band, whatever color. On the hook, wrap around once into the figure eight, grab both bands, flip them over, and then two bands pulled through. And then you would make two of these for the cheeks. So once you have those ready, we're going to start by making the leaf first. So I'm going to use the right side of the loom to start out with. And like I said, I'm going to do this single banded. Um, I already did a leaf, but I didn't attach it to anything, and I liked how it looked single, so if you don't have to use the extra bands, then that is always a bonus, but you can double it as well. So we'll just start down here at the bottom one band from the center to the right and go up three like that and then you'll have a single band long stretch to the center and then we'll repeat the same thing on the other side so from the center to the left up three and then a long stretch to the center. Now we're going to make little arrows in the middle here. So from the outside we go to the inside center like that and then just keep doing that up four times I guess. So like that. And then we're going to put a single chain just up the center and stop here. So one band still. Like that. Then we want a cap band here. Probably wrap it just twice around. So it's kind of a airier leaf when you do it this way. So we'll turn our loom around, and you'll go in through your cap band, grab the top band, which is part of the single chain, and loom up the single chain. So you won't touch the kind of arrow bands that we put underneath. Yet, anyways. 
just like that. Now we'll go back into the little kind of fake cap band that we made here. And you go in and you'll loom out our arrows back towards where they came from. Like that. Then go back to our very first cap band and we'll loom up the sides to the top here. both sides. So like that. I'm just going to pop this off so it doesn't stretch too much. We'll just leave that there for just a second. So what we'll do is just push your loom down and we're going to work down here. Kind of up a little ways. We do expand a little bit so um, not right down here but kind of come up to the next set of six pins. And you're going to want whatever color you're going to make your, if you're going to make a lemon or a lime, two bands, and we're just going to come from the center pin out to six pins around. Then you'll want a cap band, and we're just going to take one band and wrap it around like three times, or four times if you have really stretchy bands. Then we're going to loom this out, so you'll go in through that cap band we just put on, grab the top two bands, and pull them back towards themselves all the way around the circle. Like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to attach the leaf to this. So, you come back up here. You're going to want some of your leaf colors again. I'm going to take a band, put it on your hook, wrap it around one time in that figure eight, grab both, wrap it around again, then take another band on the hook, double it, and this time pull what's on the end of your hook through the other bands. that. And now we'll go in through our leaf that we have on our loom and pull that off. And we're going to take another band, put it on the end of our hook, wrap it around so it's doubled. And we're going to pull this through just the leaf first. that and take another band, double it, and pull it through everything on your hook. And then we can kind of center that a little bit better later, but another band, double it, pull it through. And then another one, doubled, pull through. So we'll have, just gotta make sure. They kind of have a nice little long stem to them, so. Um, so two bands up above, then we have the band that the leaf is on, and then two bands below. And you could even do a third if you wanted, but 
it's really kind of, if you don't need any more bands, why use them? So then come back down this way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to attach it to these pins across here. So you have it on your hook. You go and you grab all four of the bands on this pin. And you're going to pull them through the first two bands on your hook. And then replace those bands back on the pin. So you still have one on your hook and one wrapped around. So we're going to kind of come over this way to the other side, grab all four of those bands, pull them through the other part that's on your hook, and then replace them. So like that. So now what you want to do is just kind of squish this down for a moment. So what we're going to do is actually lay another starburst on top of this. So two bands again, same color as what's your lemon or lime. So just go from the center out to the six pins around again. So like that. We want a cap band here. This time it'll be two bands. Three or four times around. Probably three would be good. Then once again we're going to loom this out. So go through the cap band. And just working on that layer we just put on, you loom them out. That. So now, if you can grab your leaf however you want and pull it up through the center. Like so. So just so it's pulling up, poking up through the top, I'll try and keep it out of the way here. But what we want to do is, on the side here, you have the top layer of four bands, and then you have the bottom layer of four bands. Go in through the top layer of four bands, grab the bottom layer of four bands, pull them up through, and then remove the top layer, and then put these the bottom layer back onto the pin. So again, through. You might have to separate them a little bit if you can't see. Do the top layer, grab the bottom layer, pull them up, take the top layer off, and put the bottom layer back on. And you're going to do that all the way around on the six pins. Last one. So like that. So you have kind of two cap bands there in the center. Leaf will be attached to the bottom one. And that's kind of where we get the one end of our lemon, how it's kind of pointy. So now, 
gets a little bit easier so it's not quite so weird stuff going on. We're going to do a row around so it's two bands. And that's going to start at the bottom and go all the way around. Like that. Then you'll go and you'll flip over the bottom four. So grab the bottom four bands, flip them over the top of the pin, and you'll do that all the way around. Like so. So you have four bands left on the pins. Now we are going to expand so we get a wider shape. So we're going to expand this pin up here and the one kitty corner down here. So you go and you'll have you have the four bands on your pin. You'll take the top bands. And you'll see that they're coming from this top pin. I'm just going to put them right up here. And the other bands that are still on the pin, they go down to here. And we're going to do the same thing on this corner down here. Top bands, I'm just going to bring them down. So like so. Now we're going to do a row around again. So two bands. Just going to start down here in the corner this time. Go all the way around. Make sure you add in the expanding we did. Here's a funny looking band. Just like that. Then we're going to flip over the bands underneath. So four and then where you have the reducing one or the expanding ones, there's just going to be two to go over. I'm getting ahead of myself. And here's four. Four again. And then just the two. And four. So then push those down. And once again, we are going to expand. So this time it'll be the opposite corners, the one down here and the one up here. So we'll find the top two bands, and when you pull them off, you're going to see that they're attached to this pin down here. So if I bring them up here, they're going to be crossing over the other bands. We don't want to do that. So I'm going to leave this on my hook, go in and grab the next ones down they're going to come up to the pin up above Well, they both there we go and then the ones on my hook still are going to go back on the pin where they were you just want to have it so that like this band right here that we moved up is connected to this pin and then this band on here is connected to the next pin so we don't want any crossing over so we're going to do the same thing on the other end Find the top two bands. And hook them. <laughs> Leave them on your hook. Grab the bottom two. Bring them up. That was lucky. And then put the other ones back onto the pin where we got them from. So now, we're going to bring out the centers too, just so they're not so squished down. So pick these up, and hopefully you left room here for them. So they'll go right there. And then do the same thing up here. Like so. 
So now we're a little kind of spread out. Then we're going to do another row around. The two bands. Just going to start here and go around. Kind of looks like I only left myself the exact amount of room I needed for expanding, so hopefully that's not an issue for anybody. They have a different loom set up. So, like that. And once again, if we if it's an expanded one, it's going to have one or two bands underneath to flip over, and if it's the normal one, it'll have two bands or four bands. I tend to combine these and call them one band. I don't necessarily know why. I just do. Sorry about that. Trying to correct myself, but it's the exact count. So like so. I'm going to expand one more time. Like I said, I kind of think I left myself just enough room, but um, we're going to expand these two center pins. So I'm going to pick up the top two bands, and they're coming from this pin over here, so I'm just going to kind of slide them up here. I'm going to do the same thing down here. They're coming from this pin, so I'm going to slide them around over here. But, so once you have that expanded, we're going to do another row, the two bands all the way around. Like so. So we'll flip over the bottom bands. On the expanded ones, it's just going to be the two bands. And then the rest of them will have the four bands. Now we're going to do our eye row. So, for the eye row, I'll pop this up a little bit. Our leaf will be across this way, so we want our eyes in front, or however you want them. So, that'll be kind of They'll be a little bit kitty corner, so we're going to put them right here. But um, just so be aware that if you don't put them in the same spot, your eyes could be like underneath the leaf. So right here is where we're going to put them. So I'm going to start down here and just kind of come around, and then when I get to here, we'll. That's where we'll put the eyes. So two bands. And we'll have our eyes. Like 
like so. Then it'll be two bands all the way around the rest. Like that. And then we'll flip over the bottom four. Sorry I'm not regaling you with my witty banter, but I can feel a sore throat coming on. So I'm trying not to talk as much so that hopefully it won't get so bad where I lose my voice. That wouldn't be no good. I usually get one one bad cold in every season, including summer, which is annoying. But I'm hoping this one's my fall one. That would be nice. So push those down. Next is our cheek row. So you want your cheek bands. So two bands all the way around, and then we'll, but we'll put the cheeks right here where the eyes are. two bands all the way around the rest of it. Like that. And then flip over the bottom four. Like so. So push those down. Now we want to put on the mouth. So one band, whatever color you want the mouth to be, put it on your hook, wrap it around once into a figure eight. And then here between the eyes and the cheeks, you'll put your hook in, grab those four bands, pull them off the pin, slide down your mouth band, and then replace the bands back onto the pin. Now we're going to do another row around, two bands all the way around. Like that. And then flip over the bottom four. We should have four bands left on every pin. So now we're going to start reducing. And we're going to start with the two faraway pins right here. So you go in and you grab the top two bands 
and when you lift them up you'll see a nice divide between the bands. These ones are coming from my left pin, so they're going to come over to the right, and the other ones will go to the left. And the same thing on this pin down here, grab the top two bands, nice divide, these are coming from the left, so these are going to go to the right, and then these will go to the left. So we'll do another row around, two bands, Throwing things. Like that. So where we reduced, there will be a reducing band. So that one I usually put over first, and then we'll grab the bottom four. So it'll be the same on four pins around reducing band and then the four bands. Then the other pins will have four bands to go over. So here's another reducing one. And the same on the end. And then four. push your pins down. We're going to reduce again. This time it's going to be this top right and the bottom left. So top two bands, take them off the pin. They're coming from up here, so they're going to come down to the right, and then these ones will go up and to the left. And then down here, Find the top two bands. Mine are coming down from the right, so they're going to come up to the left. And the other ones will go down and to the right. So then another row around. Two bands still. Then you have a longer stretch over here. and then another longer stretch down here. So like so. So it's be four bands unless it's where we reduced then you'll have six bands to flip over. So here's two bands and then four bands where we reduced. It's going to be the same thing down here. And four. And here's six again. Like so. And we're going to reduce yet again. So this time it's going to be the opposite corners. So right here, top two bands, mine are coming from the top, so they're going to go to the bottom, and the other ones will go up this way. So the opposite corner, top two bands, mine are coming from down here, so they're going to go up to the opposite pin, 
and these will come this way. So we'll do another row around, two bands, so it'll be a long stretch, normal, and then a long stretch, another long stretch, normal, and a long stretch. So once again, we have the reducing band, and then you have the four bands underneath, and there will be four bands on the other pins. This one has a reducing. So basically we always just want to leave four bands that we just put on from our row. Like so. Then we actually want to move this just a little bit closer so it's a little bit easier. So these bands up here, like if you see, we kind of have almost a hexagon, but it's stretched out on the ends. So we're just going to bring those in. So put your hook through here and just bring those in closer. Like so. So you can start to see the shape of it pretty good. So now what we're going to do is reduce again. And we're going to actually reduce those ones we just moved in. I tried reducing it without before moving them in. Kind of makes it a little bit messy. So, But find the top two bands. Make sure you have that nice divide. These are coming from the left, so they're going to come over to the right. Then these are going to go over to the left. And then down here, same thing. Find the top two bands. Mine are coming from the left, so they're going to go over to the right. And the other ones will come to the left. So now we're going to do is a row around. So two bands still. And now we have four pins. So then each pin is going to have a reducing band and the four underneath, so six bands total need to go over the top. Like so. so. Kind of push those down a little bit. And now what we want to do actually is we're just going to flip over the bottom bands. So make sure you have the bottom bands. So you take the bottom bands, just flip them over. And if you look in there, hopefully you'll be able to see. I know that when I let these go, these other bands are coming right through them. So I know I've got the right ones. So if you do the other ones, then they don't attach to anything. I just have two bands left on every pin. So we're going to close this up. So I'm just going to kind of go on the back side, take my hook, and go through each band left on the pin. And 
Then I'm going to take two bands, pull it through the end. As soon as I get it through, put both ends on the hook, then make a slip knot. Then I'll stick my hook up through the back side somewhere. Grab that band, or the two bands that you close with, pull them down in, but don't pull super hard because you'll get rid of the point at the bottom of the lemon, or lime, in my case. So then you might need to do a little squishing and pulling and loosening the bands up a little bit. And then with the leaf, like mine's still poking up way up there, so um, why that is is just because of how the bands are pulled through on my stem. So I kind of slide them over, reposition them, and it'll come down where I want it to be. A few bands. So, the lovely Happy Lemon and Lime, um, I think they're, they turn out pretty adorable. Pretty happy with the shape too, so that's always a good thing. Um, of course, if you make any of these, I'd love you to share them with me on my Facebook page or my Instagram page, which is at Crafting Fantastic. Um, Facebook page is at Crafting, or Crafting Fantastic or Feelin' Spiffy, you will both find them, I believe, in the search, otherwise there's a link below in the description. And then um, also hashtag, hashtagging the foods to um, feel us would be happy food will um, share them with other people to get ideas for colors and things like that to use. I know that's always kind of the questions, you know, what color should I use if I don't have this color or um, just what co color combos look good together. Um, that's always a way to check those out and see what you think as well. So I want to thank you again for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Um, I have a lot more tutorials to come. People are always asking me, you know, when am I going to stop or am I going to stop? Please don't stop. And um, it's really just kind of as I'm inspired and I have other things I'm working on too that um, kind of wait until I get more of those together so I can kind of put them out um, more closer and have them prepared instead of just um, kind of working more piecemeal, I guess. So, But there's definitely more things coming. Um, and I know I said in one of my recent tutorials that, you know, school's starting for a lot of people, for a lot of kids, so um, definitely make sure to check me out on the weekends and I'll have some good stuff for you. So and then, of course, subscribing to my channel will help you know when that good stuff is coming out. So, but then also moms, that means that, you know, the kids are gone to school, so you have all day to loom. That's what I dream of one day, maybe, but I still have too young of kids to think about that yet, so... Thanks for watching, and I'll have more for you soon.